I have a story to tell you today. So let's just get a few important details out of the way. I have never known who my actual parents are. And if it weren't for the Cooper family adopting me almost 19 years ago, I would be living a very different life. Right now, I am attending the summer school session at Purdue State University to retake some classes that I couldn't pass this past year. If my summer wasn't stressful enough with the extra book load, one phone call made sure that my life would drastically change. I found out that I had a brother. I have a brother? It was true. I had an 18-year-old brother that was born to the same parents. He had also been adopted when he was a baby. And now he was coming to stay the rest of the summer with me at Prairie State, not only to meet me, but also to take some classes of his own. I had an extra bed in the dorm since my roommate was lucky enough to be away from school for the summer. I heard the knock on the door about a week later and knew it was him. I took a deep breath and apprehensively opened the door. Brother! Oh! Okay, so I forgot to mention, my brother was raised in Lakroska. Right after he was born in the States, the Poloskis, a Lakroskian couple who couldn't successfully have kids for years, adopted him. I think it's time for a quick geography lesson. Lakroska is a tiny European nation situated in between Romania and Bulgaria. Don't feel bad if you haven't heard of it. Aww. I sure hadn't. Thank the Lord he could speak English. It is so good to finally meet you! I'm so excited about staying with you! Yeah, yeah, I'm excited that you're here too, Stefan. No, no, oh. no, no, brother. Stefan, no? Stefan, it's traditional Lakroskian name. Oh. Stefan. 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 Very good. Okay. Very, you a you quick learner, oh, bro. Oh, thank you. All right, Stefan, you yes. got your bag. I How about you bag. grab it? Yeah. I have grab bag. It, yeah. Okay. And then put it on this bed. That's okay. gonna be yours, thank all right? You, oh, it looks like you have these whole jeans in the family. Yeah, yes. I guess I do. Yes. I immediately doubted that this crazy person could I actually be related to me. Brother. Stefan was my brother. Oh, it's in her. Ah, here it is. Yes, brother, I have my cross skin flag. Oh. I'd like to put on wall. Right here, it looks good here. Yeah. You don't, you don't need that. No, oh, you, don't, uh, but, you don't need that. Uh, no, uh, no. my cross skin flag looks great. Even though he looked completely American, he was truly a foreigner. With him came a tidal wave of Lacroscan tradition and culture. His rituals included singing the national anthem every morning he woke up and kissing the flag that hung above my head every night. Stefan, you, you kiss the flag every night. Why don't you just move it over your bed? I'd see sunlight first in the morning if I put it over here. You know, shh, just, just go back to sleep. No, Stefan. Just go back to sleep. I tuck you in. I tuck you in. Just I tuck you in. Oh. I tuck okay. you in now. Dancing like style, yeah! When I was trying to study, his Eurobeats flooded the room at a ridiculous volume. That's when I started to earn my frequent flyer miles at the library. But the funny thing was that Stefan's loud and boisterous personality made him extremely popular on campus. It wasn't an uncommon sight to see a group of students surrounding him as he told stories and made jokes. And I thought, this is not cow. This man trying to pull one over on Stefan. So Stefan goes, he looks at the cow a little more. It was a lamb! He's trying to sell me lamb for four chickens. I said, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> oh man, look at Sam, I really gotta get oh, to the time class. to go? Okay, let's Wait, go. Wait, Stefan, where you oh, go? Let's yes. get a picture oh, together. Yes, I love pictures. Everyone yes. wanted their picture okay. taken with the funny oh. European guy. He became an overnight celebrity. Oh, good. The next thing I remember was the invite we got from my parents to drive back home for dinner. You want us to come over for dinner? They wanted to meet the newest addition to my family tree. Food's done, help yourself. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it all looks so good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. yes. Ah. Get down to there, yes. What, what is the deal with that, Stefan? Oh, brother, it's ancient Lacroscan tradition. What you must do is lick your plate and mark your food. Otherwise, the people just reach over and grab your food. Oh. You must fight for your food. That's very interesting, uh, Stefan. Yes. That's how we do you it. do learn something new every day. Absolutely. Oh, we don't have much watermelon. Oh, the mustard is so good. I just love oh, like mustard. Lacroscans love the mustard. So, Stefan. Uh huh. Are you enjoying your time in the United States? Yes, very much so. I learn a lot from all the Americans. Well, that's interesting, Stefan. So, what kind of things have you picked up on? Well, here in America. You Americans bathe very much. In La Crosca, we only bathe maybe once a week or so. So don't you get all stinky and sweaty over there, too? Oh, yes, yes. But La Crosca soap 
much stronger than American salt. We use the fat from the goat and the fat from the cow, put it together, and then we have salt. Much better. And it's actually disgusting. I'm sorry, that's gross. Now, Darren, I wish you'd respect your brother's culture. I remember when he was young, we practically had to force you into the bathroom. I know, but I wasn't 18 then, Dad. So how are you liking school stuff? Mm. The American classes, very good. They're much harder than like Ruskin classes. I'm not so surprised that Darren here had trouble passing. I'm proud of him for trying again in the summer. My heart sank. I really hadn't found the courage to tell my parents the real reason I was at summer school. Darren, I thought you were taking summer school because you were switching majors. As did I, honey. Luckily, I was able to clean up the dishonesty mess with my parents. But I was quite sure that Stefan would not get out from under my skin. He was just so loud and present in my life. I was ready for things to go back to the way they were. Back to me only having to worry about class and getting those grades. Maybe one of Stefan's new admirers on campus could offer him a place to stay for the rest of the summer. I finally decided to talk to Stefan about how I was feeling, but then... You know, I was walking through this field with my old Peter, and you know, he looked up at me and he went, bah, bah. And I thought, oh, well, of course Peter's hungry. So I just pointed to the ground. I said, Peter, eat the grass. And he looked at me like, are you crazy? <laughs> I was on a football team. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's well. So funny. Lacrosse. Hey, Darren, long time no see. Have you just been hanging out in your room studying? Thank you. Um, okay, well, Stefan and I were going to study for biology, if that's all right. Yeah, sweet. I couldn't believe it. Stefan somehow found a way to be study partners with Stacy. I've had a thing for this girl since we had Kim together. I never really had the guts to really try and even pursue a date with her. And now she was sitting in my dorm room, cracking open a bio book with my long lost brother. Oh, this is the girl, right, Darren? What girl, Stefan? Oh, you know the girl? You look at her every day on the book face page. Yes, I see on your computer. I always see him looking at your pictures on the book face every time I walk into the room. He is on Stefan, that's not true. Click, 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 It's click, not true, Stefan. He's exaggerating a little bit on how much time I might spend. Oh, Zopa, I left my lucky goat's food pizza in the classroom. I must go get it right I'm sorry about that. He tends to make everything uncomfortable. He's fine. He's just a very excited guy. How's he adjusting to life in the States? I mean, really well, it seems. Like, He's hanging out with everyone on campus. Well, why don't I see you around with him? He seems like a fun guy. I don't know. I, I, I got stuff. School's kind of dominating my life right now. Yeah, but doesn't it dominate everyone? I mean, you've got to find something you like to do for fun. Take time for yourself. Uh, but, but what should I want to even be doing? Well, I don't know. Like, maybe you take me out for coffee tomorrow? The next day's date with Stacy was fantastic. We could talk to each other like we had known each other forever. Well, everything was good until Stefan entered the conversation. I think it's so cool Stefan met you. You're one lucky brother. Yeah? How's that? Well, if he hadn't tried to meet you, he'd still meet Lacroska right now, and you guys would have never met. In all honesty, Stacey, I'm pretty sure I wish that was the way it worked out. Really? Yeah, I mean, I had enough on my plate already, Stacey, with school and everything, and then Stefan just had to come and top it off. I, he's a nuisance. So you're not enjoying this day right now, then? Stacy, I never said that. But you did. If Stefan wouldn't have invited me over to study, we would have never met again this summer. That's not necessarily true. You want to know why people like Stefan? He's friendly. He's nice to everyone. I wish I could say the same about you. Stacy, wait. You know what? I think you're a really cool guy, but I think there's a few things you could learn from Stefan before he leaves. I've got to go. It's safe to say I really struck out on my first date with Stacy. But in the end, I was happy with the way it worked itself out. Stacy made me realize that I hadn't let myself be Stefan's friend. When I got back to the dorm room that night, I was stoked to see Stefan waiting there for me. Brother, how was your date? All right, it ended a little earlier than intended, but hey, uh, put on your shoes. Some shoes? Why do I need the shoes, Stefan? I'm going to show you America beyond this campus. There's more? Yes, there's more. Okay. Much more. Okay. Please, hurry. Put on shoes. It was the best night of my life. Oh,
I never knew how awesome of a person my brother was. Stacy was absolutely right. Even though we had been apart for our entire lives, one thing was clear that night. Stefan was my brother. Oh, Darren, this place is so wonderful. There's things to look at everywhere. There's the tall buildings and the cars and the people. And there's a nice little creek down there. Before I knew it, the week was up and it was time for him to return home. I regret not taking more time to get to know him even better. No, no, no. This is how we do it. Hug. Yep. Yes, Lakroska, and then the. Mm. Oh, yes, oh, that's man. wonderful. I feel like I'm part of the family now. You are. You must visit my I, family. I'm gonna you try must my best. Visit. Stefan taught me things that can't be learned from a textbook. For the longest time, I didn't see that the best things in life come from getting out of your comfort zone and Stefan was always one to make things uncomfortable. I can't thank him enough for that. I look forward to my next visit with my brother. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Do you need help carrying luggage down? No, I got all my luggage. Just, if you could hang on a sec, I need to send this to a professor, and then I will be down. Okay, take your time. I'll just be waiting out front. Lacroska, Lacroska, I love this land. 